Hundreds of airline food service workers at Toronto Pearson International Airport are on the picket line this morning. 98.8% of Gate Gourmet Canada workers voted in favour of a strike. The local union representing the workers says talks with the Gate Gourmet broke down, forcing them to the picket line. Workers are calling for improved pay, benefits and job safety. Martin Sirqua is the president of Teamsters Local Union 647, representing the striking workers, and he's with us in studio this morning. Welcome. Good morning. Uh, just to make it clear, this is on all flights leaving Pearson Airport. Correct. So no food, no coffee, tea, nothing? No drinks, no food or beverages. Okay, got it. You cite the high cost of living in the greater Toronto area as a key driver in this labour action. How far apart are the Teamsters uh, on wages from what the Gourmet Gate is offering? Uh, we're very far apart right now. They're okay. not listening to our union's demands and our members' demands. They forced the final offer onto our members. Uh, our members soundly rejected that by 96%. And I think it also points out this was the first uh, work stoppage in and Gate Gourmet and the Teamsters history at that location. So worker safety is another issue that has come up. The union says in the past three months, seven high lift truck drivers were injured on the job. What are you hearing from members about that? Since the pandemic, the company slashed staffing levels, specifically uh, loading the, the large flights. Mm -hmm. uh, that's caused our members to work under extreme pressure and we believe is directly connected to those injuries. So airlines serviced by Gate Gourmet include Air Canada and WestJet. Uh, you have said that up to 20% of flights going through Pearson Airport could be affected. So then walk us through what this means for passengers. Well, it's totally unfair to passengers. Between Our, our members uh, produce between 230 to 250 flights a day out of Pearson. Um, it's unfair to them. It's unfair to the flight crews. And what's really unfair is the fact that uh, our workers helped save this company. During the pandemic, this company was in really difficult times. Our members took wage freezes. Uh, we helped the company return to profitability and uh, they're not addressing our concerns. And that's why we're so far behind industry standards of what they pay in Vancouver and what they pay elsewhere at the airport with their direct competition. Do you have those numbers by any chance? It's, there's a variety of classifications, but it's approximately between three to six dollars an hour, depending on the job classification different. Or we're trying to close the gap and the company came up short. It's, their wage increases are as low as 88 cents per hour. So then what will it take to get you off the picket lines back to the negotiating table? We want to negotiate. We want to get a fair deal for our members and their families. Uh, they're struggling. They don't want to be on strike. They enjoy their jobs. They enjoy working. Um, they enjoy looking after the airlines. But uh, unfortunately, we're, we're forced into this situation. I keep thinking, uh, Martin, about all those frustrated passengers, especially those early morning flights that are going to get on board. No coffee, no tea if they don't know about this ahead of time. Also, the air stewards who are going to take the Absolutely. front line frustration of that. It, it's, not fair to, it's not fair to anyone. Uh, your final word then to anybody who is frustrated this morning over what is happening. Well, we're just trying to provide for our families, pay rent. Everyone knows how expensive it is in the GTA just to be able to have a, mini, uh, a living wage. And we're well, most of our jobs are well below a living wage in Toronto. And how long do you foresee this going on, Martin? It's going to take as long as it takes. We want to, we want to return to the bargaining table and, and work out our differences. Unfortunately, that's not happening right now. I appreciate you coming in. I know it's day one of a... Of a of a labor action, so it's always a busy one. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.